Hi, and welcome to my latest IELTS video. In this IELTS video, we've got 25 native type words and expressions that you can use to talk about music in the IELTS exam. Many of these expressions and words you can also use for other topics too. The reason I'm showing you these is that being able to speak in a native type way is the real key to success in the IELTS speaking exam. If you find this video useful, please subscribe and please click on the bell to make sure you get more video updates. On with the questions. Has the internet been a good thing for musicians? IELTS type 3 question, part 3. I think the answer depends on whether we're talking about emerging artists or established stars. The internet is a promoter's dream and this really helps up and coming musicians to get their music out there. For example, they can put their music on YouTube and use the reaction to gauge potential commercial success. Then, if their music goes down well with lots of people on YouTube, they can set about raising the money needed to get their music professionally produced on a large scale by using crowdfunding websites. Household names, by and large, don't need lots of promotion because they're already famous and these megastars lose lots of royalties to internet piracy. So, a reminder, if you found that answer useful, please subscribe and push the bell. Now on with the next answer. Do you think pop stars can be a bad influence on young people? Without doubt, yes. Many young people have two tendencies. They tend to put people on a pedestal and they tend to be impressionable. As a result, young people often ape the behaviour of their heroes. Uh, the bad behaviour of many pop stars is legendary. This can range from cussing people out to drug taking and even adopting unsavoury positions on all sorts of political issues. So let's have a look at the meaning of these terms. Emerging artists, in this case in the context of music, are pop stars who are just beginning their career. So future stars that are beginning. An established star, on the other hand, is, you know, a Lady Gaga or a Madonna or like David Bowie used to be. Uh, a big star that everybody knows. A promoter is somebody whose job it is to help make something or someone popular and famous and in demand. Up and coming, up and coming musicians, another collocation. The expression up and coming means really the same kind of thing as emerging. It means that somebody is making progress from a start where not many people knew about them. They are making progress. The expression to get something out there simply means to try to popularise it, to try to make it popular by putting it in places where people can see it and begin to like it and enjoy it. So in this case, YouTube is a perfect example. The English verb to gauge means to look at something and try to understand what that thing means. It's to evaluate something. And commercial success, another collocation, which simply means to be able to sell something a lot. Commercial success, to get lots of people to buy something. To go down well, well, to the phrasal verb to go down, it simply means if something goes down well, then it is received well. It means people enjoyed it, people liked it. The critics said it was good. In this case, on YouTube, people liked the video, as I hope you will do to this video. Uh, the phrasal verb to set about doing something, to set about raising the money, means to begin to do something, to start to do something. Professionally produced. If something is professionally produced, then it is recorded, in the case of music, in a professional way. For example, in a recording studio. Crowdfunding websites are websites where you can ask ordinary members of the public 
to make small donations to enable something to happen. A household name. A household name is the same thing as an established star. It's somebody that everybody knows. Somebody that is famous for something. By and large, a very native expression, which means the same thing as in general or generally. A megastar, again, like David Bowie, somebody who is known worldwide, who enjoyed enormous commercial success. So the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, also megastars from my country. Royalties. Royalties are payments that are made to an artist in return for broadcasting their music, for example, on the radio or in a film score, um, the music for a film. Internet piracy. This is when you download some music illegally. You're effectively stealing the music. It's internet piracy, as in, ho ho ho, the pirates uh, from the Caribbean and things like that. Tendencies. Your tendencies are the things that you normally or often do. To put, put somebody on a pedestal means that you look up to them. Maybe you almost worship them. You think they are wonderful. Young people also tend to be impressionable. That means it's easy to make an impression on them. It's easy to influence their behaviour. To ape. If you ape somebody's behaviour, then you copy their behaviour. Pop stars, again, simply people famous for making pop or popular music. Legendary, the adjective from the noun legend. A legend is a great story, and the bad behaviour of pop stars has created legends or legendary stories. Uh, so depending on your point of view, they are either amazingly good or amazingly bad, some of these stories about the behaviour of pop stars. To cuss somebody out, another phrasal verb, it means to swear at somebody, using a word like shit, for example. If you adopt or take an unsavoury position on something, it means that your view or your opinion on something is something that most people would think is disgusting and revolting. For example, those people that deny the Holocaust, that say that the Holocaust did not happen. Finally, the collocation political issues. A political issue is simply something that is political, but that is debated, where there is a lot of debate about what should or shouldn't be done uh, about something. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, click the bell. Please also like the video, share it on your social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you've got, please share it. Also, in the comments section, please ask me if there is any IELTS topic that you would like me to cover in a future video. That's it. Thank you and goodbye.